how to stop using your Google account to sign in to third-party apps or services. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to google.com. Once you're here guys, navigate to the top right hand corner here to where it says sign in and left click on the blue sign in button. Once you've done that guys, sign in to your Google account. So I'm just going to do that now guys. Great, so I've now signed into my Google account and I'm back on google.com. Once you've also signed into your Google account, Navigate to the top right hand corner here to your Google account profile picture and left click on it. Once you've done that, look for where it says manage your Google account and left click on it. You should now be in the home section of your Google account. The section that we need is security, which is to the left hand side here and the fourth option down. Once you've found security, left click on it. You'll now be in the security section of your Google account. Once you're here guys, scroll all the way down until you see where it says signing in to other sites. In this area, you have three options. The first option is signing in with Google, password manager and linked accounts. The option that we need is the first option here called signing in with Google. And if we look to the right hand side here, you can see for me it says you use your Google account to sign in to one site or app. This message here guys will be unique for your Google account as it's determined by the number of sites or applications that you use your Google account to sign in with. To manage these sites or apps that you use your Google account to sign in with, simply left click on this arrow here. You'll then be taken to apps with access to your Google account. Signing in with Google, you use your account to sign in to these sites and apps. They can view your name, email address and profile picture. As you can see guys, if we look to the bottom here, I have one site or app, in this case a site, which I use my Google account to sign in with to said site. For me guys, that site is called Pastebin. To stop using my Google account to sign in with Pastebin, all I'm going to need to do is simply left click on the site or app, for me it's Pastebin guys, and then you'll be greeted with further details about the app or site. As you can see, Pastebin has access to basic account info of my Google account, it can see my personal info, including any personal info I've made public, and it can see my primary Google account email address. You can see the home page of the site or app, access given to, the site or app name, access given on, the date that access was given on. To remove access of this site or app, all you need to do guys is left click on remove access in blue here. So I'm just going to do that now guys. Once you've clicked on remove access, you'll be greeted with a small window which says remove access, Pastebin Google social login will no longer have access to your Google account. You'll need to grant access if you want to use this app or service again. You have the option to cancel or OK. I'm simply going to left click on OK. Once you've done that guys, access will be removed. And as you can see guys, at the very top here, Google says you haven't given any app or services permission to access your Google account. Underneath here, it says signing in with Google, Google account sign in prompts. Allow Google to offer a faster way to sign in with your Google account on supported third-party sites. As you can see guys, this is currently toggled on. Of course, going forward, if you no longer wish to use your Google account to sign into third-party sites or apps with, you can toggle this setting off, which I'm going to do now guys. I'm simply going to left click on the toggle to toggle it off. And that pretty much concludes the video guys on how to stop using your Google account to sign into third-party apps or services. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so